Hey guys, welcome to TacosTheGeeks.com. Justin here, and today um, I'm actually going to start a brand new, um, I was not call it series, but I guess it's going to be a weekly video. I'm going to try to do this every week, and it's called Tacos and Geeks Essential Anime. And basically what Essential Anime is going to be is me or one of the staff members talking about an anime they feel that everyone should have in their collection. And the reason why we're doing this is because we have friends, we have families, we have readers, we have YouTubers, people that email us, we have people that always ask us who are curious about anime or really want to get into anime, where should they start? Or what should they watch, you know, to really get them immersed into the world of anime? And of course, I just want to say this before people start trolling or sending nasty comments or everything else, just know that these are just opinions. Everybody has their opinions and we welcome everybody's opinions on the comic section. Just keep it classy. That's all we're asking. Um, so, today I want to talk to kick off episode one. I want to talk about an anime that's very dear to me. An anime that I feel really made people who didn't take anime seriously really look at anime and go, okay, this is a format, this is a platform that can actually tell a humanizing true story um, with emotional depth and and just really convey just such emotion and just have a great storytelling, great acting and the only difference is that it's not in live action, it's anime. And that anime is Graves of the Fireflies. This is to me one of the most important animes ever made, um, one of the most important animes to have in your collection and it's actually based off a true story and it's based off a book written by the guy who's, um, whose character Sita, which is right here, is being portrayed as. I'm still trying to find that book. So if anybody knows where I can find that book, please leave a comment on the section. Let me know because I'm dying to read the actual true story. So let me read the actual synopsis from the back for you guys. And I'm going to tell you why I feel like this is an important anime or essential anime, I should say for you to have in your collection. So let's read the uh, synopsis. As the empire of the sun crumbles upon itself and rain of fire bombs falls upon Japan, the final death march of a nation is echoed in millions of smaller tragedies. This is the story of Sita and his youngest sister Ses um, Sesuko. Two children born at the wrong time in the wrong place and now cast adrift in a world that lacks not the care to shelter them, but simply the resources. Forced to fend for themselves in the aftermath of fires that swept entire cities from the face of the earth. Their doomed struggle is both a tribute to the human spirit and the stuff of nightmares, beautiful yet and at times brutal and horrifying. This is to me one of the most important animes ever made. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, like I previously just stated, a lot of people at this time were looking at anime it's like, okay, it's just cartoons, it's just, you know, they just have action. Yeah, they have action, yeah, they have they have romance, they have comedy, and everything else. But Grace of the Fireflies, for me at least, really solidified how the anime platform can be used to just trigger so much emotion and actually tell true stories of real life events and do it in such a way of beauty and flair and care and with honor as well while not deteriorating or expanding or just adding like the little and you know typical anime imagination to it this was a very grounded anime and this show that anime not is, is not just limited to just the out world of fantasy and sci-fi but this can anime can be as dramatic as realistic as a live action movie and I think that's what Grave of, of the Fireflies did that for a lot of people including myself and I just think that that's something that you really need to see if you've never seen this movie this is a movie you really need to watch it has so much heart with just the music production the brilliant script, the, the dialogue, and the imagery. I'm not going to spoil anything. We do have a review on thetacosandgeeks.com. You can check out the full review there. But I just want to say that the fact that they were able to tackle a subject matter such as war, and such as the just World War II, and just the way it affects 
everyday people and it is a social commentary on war but it's actually more of a social commentary on pride because the main character is a very prideful kid and not to d dwell too deep into spoilers but because of his pride something happens that changes his life forever and that's something a reason why I want to actually read the book as well is because that pride really kind of end game something and I think this Grave of the Fireflies is just a brilliant movie and it's definitely essential for you guys to have. Pick it up, add it to your collection. It is a tearjerker. It is brilliantly written, great acting. I suggest honestly to get the full effect of this is that you watch this in Japanese dub with English subtitles and or if you understand Japanese, don't you don't need English subtitles but or Spanish subtitles or whatever language you speak. But I definitely recommend this one as an essential anime. It's powerful, it's moving, it's grounded, and it just really made a lot of people who didn't take anime seriously really take anime seriously. I mean, even Roger Ebert here, I believe they have a quote from him. Uh, Roger Ebert says, an emotional experience so powerful that it forces the rethinking of animation. It belongs on any list in the greatest war films ever made. And I definitely add to his sentiments, this was a brilliant film. Make sure you have Braves of the Fireflies in your collection. This is an essential anime. If you really want to get started in the anime, this is one place you can start. Yeah, it's depressing, but you're going to see the beauty of animation. You're going to see the great use of color, the great use of the textures, the great use of voice acting, the great use of this music, and how music can tug into their emotions and fit the tone of a film. Definitely check out Grace of the Fireflies. This is Justin saying, later days, I'll catch you in the next one.